Cats are cute, squishy, and fluffy. This makes it all too easy to get carried away. And then, in the blink of an eye, you cross the line and make your pet uncomfortable or even afraid. Don't leave your kitty alone for more than 24 hours. Lots of people adopt cats rather than dogs because they're sure a cat can take better care of itself. Surprisingly, even though felines are more independent than pooches, they aren't loners. Leaving your cat alone with enough food and water won't do the trick. If you go away for several days, someone has to come and check on your pet at least once in 24 hours. Never force your unwanted attention on your kitty. Don't try to hold it or stroke it against its will, even if your pet doesn't usually mind occasional cuddling. Cats do like socializing with their humans, but they prefer doing it on their own terms and in much smaller doses than dogs. Respect the needs and moods of your fluffy friend. Let your cat watch the outside world. Even indoor felines are interested in what's happening out there. Birds, moving cars, walking people. Open the window shades and let your pet sit near the glass. It'll stay entertained for hours. Don't give your cat pieces of string or yarn to play with. By no means is it safe for felines. Your pet can swallow it, and the consequences can be very, very bad. Certified cat toys are a much better choice. Pay attention to all the changes in your cat's behavior. No one but you, the pet's owner, can figure out that something's wrong. Your kitty may stop eating. It might start to avoid people and other animals. Or it can even begin to hiss, scratch, and bite your family members. This might be a sign that the cat feels pain or some physical discomfort. Never leave your indoor cat outside without supervision. If your pet isn't used to being in the street, you can't predict its reaction. Your fluffy friend might get curious, or it may feel confused and frightened. The last thing you need is a panicking cat dashing into traffic. Don't try to make your cat behave by punishing it directly. Training a feline is very different from training a dog. Telling your cat off may have, uh, how shall I put it, unpleasant consequences. Jingling coins in a can, clapping your hands, or stomping your foot to show your pet it's done something wrong, like you do with a dog, isn't going to work. Cats are super sensitive to loud sounds. If you raise your voice or make a loud noise, your pet can get scared. Then it'll start to avoid you. With cats, what you perceive as bad behavior can be healthy behavior that doesn't have a proper outlet. So if your pet destroys your sofa, just get the kitty a scratching post. Never ever back your cat into a corner. If you do this, it'll feel like there's no escape route. And then even the most well-behaved animal can lash out. Plus, your kitty might get nervous or stressed out, or it can stop trusting you. Don't try to dress your kitty up. Your fluffy companion may look amazingly cute in a bumblebee costume, but I bet your cat doesn't find it as amusing as you do. Such costumes are usually too restrictive, and the situation that may seem funny at the beginning can get out of hand really fast. The costume is likely to cut normal blood circulation in your pet. Don't shave your cat, unless the vet tells you to do so. No one will probably argue that there's nothing cuter than a kitty with a lion-like haircut. But a feline's hair helps the animal control its body temperature. Thanks to their fur coat, they remain cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Shave this natural air conditioner and you'll get a very unhappy pet. Even though cats are known for their uncanny ability to see in the dark, these animals don't like complete darkness. Make sure your pet gets a lot of light both natural and artificial, especially if you have to leave for a long period of time. Staying alone in a dark house or apartment can make your kitty feel abandoned. Don't forget to brush your cat's teeth. Just like humans, felines can have dental problems, but you can easily avoid them. Try to brush your kitty's teeny tiny teeth once a day or at least several times a week. This will keep the teeth and gums healthy. Hand play might seem fine for now, but not when your cat starts to pounce on your hands once they're somewhere nearby. It'll result in nasty scratches and bites. Felines are hardwired to chase and hunt and wait in ambush. 
If you let your kitty know your hand is something that can be hunted, there will be no stopping it. Just use a toy or light cord to keep your pet entertained. Many specialists also don't recommend teasing your pet with a laser pointer. It seems like a perfect toy, but in reality, it can lead to your cat getting frustrated because it can't actually catch a beam of light. To avoid this problem, make some physical object or a treat a part of the game. It'll give your kitty a sense of achievement. Never assume your cat is fine. These animals are skilled at masking any problems they're having, just like people. Always be on guard. Does your cat seem to be less energetic than usual? Does it refuse to crunch its favorite treats? Is it too agitated? Something might be wrong. Don't let your kitty drink a lot of milk. Felines do love its sweet taste, but cats and cow's milk don't actually mix. These animals can't always successfully digest milk without getting sick afterward. Plus, milk is rather fattening, and your kitty can put on some extra weight. Make sure all plants in your home are safe for cats. For example, lilies, which are rather typical for flower bouquets, are super toxic for kitties. Or aloe vera. This plant is considered medicinal for us humans, but it's bad for cats. Don't give your cat only dry food. Felines can live in arid places where they can only get water from their food. That's why house cats don't drink enough, even when they're thirsty. Dehydration can become a serious problem in this case, but just one daily meal of wet food can solve this issue. Plus, wet food is lower in calories thanks to all that water it contains. Never ever hold your cat on your lap while driving. You never know what might attract your pet's attention. And once it gets all unruly and scratchy, you can easily get into an accident. Letting your cat roam around the car while you're driving isn't an option either. While traveling with your pet, always keep it in a cat carrier, properly buckled. Don't free feed your pet. That's when a cat will graze on food whenever it feels like munching on something. It leads to overeating and even obesity. If you don't have an opportunity to feed your kitty at regular times, you can buy an automatic food dispenser. It'll give your cat portions of dry food at the intervals that you set yourself. Don't forget to offer your pet fresh grass, but only those kinds that won't harm the animal. Eating grass helps felines with digestion, and narrow grasses can even settle an upset stomach. Plus, grass juice contains folic acid. That's a vitamin supporting your pet's growth. It also helps increase oxygen levels in your cat's blood. Never leave your windows fully open or open enough for a small and very flexible creature to squeeze through. If you really must open the windows, check whether the screens are sturdy and if they're in place. But if you need to leave home, make sure the openings aren't larger than several inches. Cats and hairballs seem fated to be together, but keep in mind that if it happens frequently, it may be a sign there's a problem. Also, don't forget to groom your cat. It's one of the most effective ways to cut down on hairballs, and your kitty's fur will look great. Experts say you should groom your cat once or twice a day if it has long hair, and one to three times a week if you have a short-haired pet. Don't forget to trim your pet's claws, both for your comfort and the comfort of the animal. For one thing, you won't scream every time your cat decides to knead into your belly or leg. Plus, there won't be any broken claws and hurt kitties. Cats don't drink much, but they do drink. And simply pouring out old water and replacing it with fresh won't do. When you change the water for your pet, don't forget to wash and scrub the bowl first. Then rinse it thoroughly. This way, you'll remove all kinds of unhealthy stuff, like mold, from the sides of the bowl.